weapons. Take them and go to the gate. Hey! You have to get me out of here. Me and my companion, we didn't come here by our own free will. We were captured! You have to let us out. Not my problem. Move. This is madness! Don't try anything. You don't want to get hurt before the fight, do you? So move! Hey, listen! I don't want to do this. We don't have to do this. Let's both drop our weapons, okay? I guess not. champion has fallen. But how will this fighter react when she has to fight her own friend? Calvin? Elena! Stop this! Stop this madness! I am Princess Elena Arcadia, on my way to the city of Kartros. We were kidnapped and forced to come here against our will. You are the only one who brought new participants for today. Is it true that you kidnapped her? I thought I had made it clear that you are not allowed to do that. <laughs> of course not. Kidnapped is a strong word after all. We just needed new fighters to honor our tribe. <sighs> I'll have to deal with you later. I am incredibly sorry for this. If I had known who you were or how you were treated, this would have never happened. Guards, let them out. The games are over for today. My name is Prince Cole Copper, son of King Caleb Copper. People call me the Dawn Prince, but you can call me Cole. I once again apologize for what you just had to go through. We haven't had many nobles here before, and especially not from another kingdom. It's... nice to meet you, Cole. What... what just happened? You just happened to participate in one of our tournaments. All fighters volunteer to fight, but I guess Graf just broke one of my rules. I don't enjoy the tournaments, but the desert tribes need them. I'd like to welcome you to the city of Gondova, the only town in the vast desert of Gorgas. You and your companion will be properly fed and given a nice room in my palace while you prepare to continue your journey towards Kartros. Good morning, Prince Varen. We were just discussing your upcoming coronation. I've made sure that the castle will be heavily guarded throughout the coronation. All guards will be in position. The feast will be quite expensive, but we do have a lot of gold. Don't spend too much on the feast. You never know when we'll desperately need that gold. Of course, my prince. You remind me of King Crowner's son. He would have liked you. Alright, I'll head back to work then. 
I need to order some more barrels of wine for the feast. I trust your father, and I'm wondering if I can trust you too. Of course, Sir Brian. I'm sure the Black Shadow is still here in Galdo City. I'm going to do everything I can to keep Baron safe from that murderer. Do you know anything, anything at all, that could help us solve his true identity? Oh, I'm afraid not. All we know about the Black Shadow is that he murdered King Crowner and that he has been revealed as one of the five Dark Lords, which means he works for Gisgord. Oh, we have, however, heard that he has a group of about 20 mercenaries working for him. They call themselves Little Shadows, but we have not been able to find any of them. I'm not sure how that will help you, though. A group of mercenaries, you say? We may have run into some of them when we first entered the kingdom. They tried to kill us, but luckily we all survived, thanks to one of your father's knights. Thank you for the information. The sooner we catch this assassin, the better. We don't know what Gisco is planning, so we will use anything we can find. For over 40 years we've had peace in the Kingdom of Atlania. 40 good years. We have to do something. If Marcus Ravenwood truly is a traitor, he can't be left unpunished. This is the wrong battle. If you would have been there 20 years ago, when Gisgord attacked Braemar together with a group of shamans, you would be worrying about Varin right now. In one attack, Gisgord managed to kill the King of Awalia, your aunt and almost take over an entire city. There isn't time to worry about Varen. Varen is gone, and he won't be coming home in years. We have to worry about our own kingdom now. There is paper and quill over there, at the table. Write what I say. In the name of myself, King Garen of House Arcadia, King of Alania, I hereby ask Lord Robert Redwind, Lord of Garwin in the South, to travel to the Raven's Fort together with his army to join my forces. Lord Marcus Ravenwood is a traitor to the Crown who tried to assassinate my family, and he must be eliminated. Ride to the Raven's Fort as fast as you can, so that together we can destroy this threat once and for all. This really isn't. Together with Lord Redwind's forces, Ravenwood won't stand a chance. Why are you always guarding the throne? We all owe our lives to the star. Without the Holy Star, humanity would have lost the Shaman War. We are alive thanks to it. Does everyone in Awalia pray to the star? The Holy Star is indeed praised all over the kingdom. Our world of Aloria lost its magic long ago, and the only remnants left of the magical races are ancient relics such as the star, and those filthy shamans. For the past 500 years, the two best fighters of the church have been chosen to guard the star. It's the highest honor a man in Awalia can achieve. Did you hear that? No. Your Highness, what is it? Nothing. I think I'm just tired. I'll head to sleep. Good. Tomorrow is a big day. All the High Lords of Avalia will come to watch you get crowned as their new king. probably wondering why I've gathered you all here tonight. This man, this assassin, burned down our church and tried to murder my family. Upon questioning him, we found out who sent him. They were sent by the traitor and usurper, Lord Marcus Ravenwood. A man I thought was loyal, a man I trusted, 
to send assassins to burn our church and murder my family. He cannot go unpunished. Tomorrow we will march toward his fortress. We will drag him out of the Raven's Fort. And together, we will restore peace in Alania once again. We will start by beheading this filthy assassin. Today, we execute him. Tomorrow we march. <laughs>